Hello everybody, Kicker Fools here. Wow, five awesome optimists. What a great channel. And what some great YouTubers. This is a very, very cool channel. And thank you guys for letting me be a part of it. And thank you for letting me be a guest speaker on this channel. So let's go ahead and get into my thing here, what I want to talk to you guys about. Um, about three months ago, I started sporting this bad backache. You know, and I work as a patrol officer and my laptop is over here to the right and it's mounted in the car and I have to turn to the right all the time and, and work on it and I thought maybe I did something to my back by twisting and turning. I've never had back problems before but that's the only thing that made sense to me. So I went to the doctor and he prescribed me prescription strength Aleve. Uh, naproxen is what he gave me for pain and you know that did okay for a while but it started moving to different parts of my body and, and uh, then the doctor thought, well, it must be some sort of an infection. So he put me on a regimen of antibiotics, not once, but twice, because it, it, it didn't work. Finally, um, he said, I need to send you through a urologist to find out what's going on. So I had an appointment to see a urologist this Tuesday. Matter of fact, today. Well, last Thursday, the pain just got so bad, I didn't sleep at night. I was just in horrible, horrible pain. And the doctor said, okay, um, I need you to go to the emergency room. So I went to the emergency room and they prepared a CAT scan for me. So I went and the technician that did the CAT scan told me that I have all the symptoms of kidney stones. So, okay, so I went to get my CAT scan and then when I got back the doctor came into my room and his face was so solemn, it was so sincere and I could see something in his eyes wasn't, wasn't right. And he looked at me and said, it, it wasn't kidney stones. The CAT scan revealed a large growth on your pancreas, which has moved into your liver, which is suspicious for cancer. So uh, I said, okay, what's next? Is it cancer? He goes, well, we're going to have to get some some test done. We scheduled you for a biopsy. And I said, well, when is this operation? When is this biopsy? And he goes, well, we're scheduling it for tomorrow. I said, wow. I mean, they got right to it. So the next day, here I was in the hospital getting a scope done, which they went through my back over here. and and scoped it and the doctor came in and said uh, um, you have cancer of the pancreas and it's moved into your liver and it's at the fourth stage and which meant I didn't know I've never known anybody that's had cancer before so I asked the doctor I said is there like a fifth stage or he goes no four stage is the last stage of uh, the cancer and I thought oh my gosh I said so can we cut it out can we operate he goes no um, operation that's that's something we can't do right now uh, we'll need to do we're gonna we're gonna do chemo so he's getting me set up with the oncologist but it got me thinking you know eventually every one of us myself your loved ones and you at the end we are all going to have to stand alone we're going to have to stand alone on what we are and who we are and what we did at the end, we all stand alone. But until then, I want to stand with you guys. And it's been such a great outpouring of love and support from the YouTubers out there. I mean, from the family and people at work. I mean, that's, that's so great, so great. And to see the outpouring of support that I get from the people on YouTube, it's just amazing. That does my heart so well. Thank you so much. I mean, that gets me to feel so optimistic. I'm so hopeful. I'm so positive because of the things that people do. You know, I once heard somebody say that they like animals better or they like dogs better than they do people. You know, people are such, people are interesting. They are such giving, loving people out there. And I thank you so much. It's, it's inspiring, you know. And I know that I'm going to have to stand alone one day. And my heart's in the right place. I'm a person of faith. I know I can stand alone and I can answer to my actions. I know that I can. My heart's in a good place. But until then, I'm standing with all you guys. And I thank you so much. I'm not going to cry in this video. I'm not going to do it. But I just thank you so much for all your support. It's so awesome. And thank you for letting me be a part of this channel. So go out. I, my words to you guys is this opportunity. If you can realize that... You still, you got your whole life ahead of you. Grab out and do something. Do something for someone. 
Yeah, I mean, it's contagious. I mean, it's it's awesome that people would do this. I mean, Sean Hollick, Mr. Hollick does, has got a foundation or thing that he does for people who are indigent, for children. He gets them toothbrushes. I mean, things like that. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. But this is your chance right from this day, this day forward. You can do something. You can do something to make a difference. I want to tell everybody here, and there are a lot of my supporters over there watching it, you guys have done something. You've done something for me. Thank you. And I haven't met all of you. I don't know all of you. And I can't respond to all your emails. I will try. But I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hey, until next time, this is Kicker Fool. Hey, you know, we'll see you on the tube. Or as Mr. Hollick says, keep filming. Keep filming. Thank you.